I'm sure you didn't notice because, well, nobody cares, but we can have some fun with it at his expense. Brian Stelter had a brand new book come out this week about Fox News and the supposed real reason why they fired Tucker Carlson, which, of course, is just more fake news because anybody with a brain knows that they canned him because he was telling too much truth, and that's not allowed on the network. It's called Network of Lies, the epic saga of Fox News, Donald Trump, and the battle for American democracy. And because there is nobody else in America who is as obsessed with hating Fox News as Little Brian, the entire liberal media is singing praises of his new book, and every show is having him on to talk about it. And stay tuned because we're going to see how these countless millions of dollars in free publicity and promotion have translated into book sales for him. And of course, compare and contrast that with the guy in his kitchen on a laptop who also recently released a book. He was on MSNBC numerous times on Tuesday on launch day. Numerous different shows, so he must have just been hanging out in the snack bar in between shows, and then they would just bring him back out on set to talk about it even more. He was on PBS NewsHour, their big news show. He even was at an event in New York City hosted by the big tech journalist Kara Swisher. USA Today, which has a YouTube channel, aside from their popular national paper. News Nation, the fake, supposed centrist cable channel that's trying to be an alternative to the partisan CNN and Fox News, even though they hired Fredo as their lead evening anchor. And even his old stomping ground, CNN, which had him on in studio to promote the book. And, well... That was awkward. Donald Trump vowing to, quote, root out the political left. That was a speech he gave on Veterans Day. As Trump is seeking a second term. He continues to repeat false claims about election fraud. And our next guest has a whole new book telling about the origin story of Trump trying to tear down the guardrails of American democracy and the right-wing media's mission to put him back in office in 2024. We are so happy to be joined by our friend and former CNN anchor, Brian Stelter. He's the author of Network of Lies, the epic saga of Fox News, Donald Trump, and the battle for American democracy. It's so good to have you, friend. Good morning. It's so great to be here. Congratulations. Thank you. Early in the book, let me read. This is page eight, right before you get into part one. Good morning. I guess we'll just not address the elephant in the room that you got fired from this very network for turning it into a laughing stock. Quote, hopefully you'll come away feeling the way that I do empowered mm -hmm. and equipped to tell the truth more loudly than ever. You're still hopeful. Absolutely, because I think most people just want to know what's real and what's true in the world. And, and that's why this whole network of lies, this disinformation machine that includes parts of Fox News, but also, you know, the Steve Bannons of the world, right-wing podcasts, all that machinery that's trying to reelect Donald Trump, uh, it is important. It's got to be reckoned with. It's got to be scrutinized. It deserves all that scrutiny. But most people actually still want to know what's real and true in the world. You know, we have to be louder than the liars in this environment. And the liars come in lots of different directions. It's Fox News and the podcasters and those pesky YouTubers. They all need to be shut down. Of course, the New York Times gave it a glowing review and will undoubtedly include it on their fake bestseller list. And in case you missed my video on Monday, the New York Times bestseller list isn't a bestseller list at all. It is a recommended list. It's a favorites list by the New York Times editors. It is completely fake. In Network of Lies, Brian Stelter builds the case against Fox News. His book is a thrilling account of the conspiracy to steal the 2020 election, the attack on the Capitol, Tucker Carlson's defenstration, and more. They love pandering to their Ivy League elitists. Tucker Carlson's defenstration, not his firing or his ousting, his defenstration. So with all of this hype and publicity, which is literally millions of dollars worth of free advertising for his book. How high did it get on the Amazon's bestseller list? You may be wondering, an actual authentic list, unlike the fake New York Times bestseller list. Well, since you asked, as I was tracking this very close, he did make it up to 133. <laughs> so not even breaking into the top 100, which is pathetic, especially with all of that publicity and being a, a former national television host. I mean, not even breaking into the Amazon top 10 would be pathetic. He didn't even break into the top 100. But look at this. He tweeted out that he's proud that his book is a number one bestseller. 
in the Amazon's election category, <laughs> in a category, which is easy. My, all of my books have been bestsellers in their categories. My book is still a bestseller in its category. And not to brag, well, to brag a little bit, but also to compare and contrast the failure of the liberal media industrial complex trying to pump up this book, because there's nothing less that they hate other than Donald Trump, than Fox News. In a book about Fox News, they couldn't even get into the top Amazon 100 while, of course, yours truly, thanks to you guys, my loyal, trusty viewers, we got my book, The War on Conservatives, last week to number four, not just in a category, of all books. So thanks again for all that. And the reviews are in, and they're not looking so good for little Brian. Of course, there are going to be some trolls who always go and leave fake one-star reviews for books, especially for political books. They do it to mine all the time. And don't do that to little Brian. We don't want to sink to their level. We want the authentic reviews from his waste of time. Like this one that's titled, A Book We Didn't Need. My headline is not a shot at Mr. Stelter or his book. It's simply an honest assessment of a book that simply didn't need to be written. If by November 2024, there is anyone in the United States of America who didn't know that Fox News lied and promoted the big lie about the 2020 election, then that person must have been on the International Space Station. There is nothing groundbreaking or newsworthy that would compel someone to spend $30 on a book that only reiterates facts that have been known since 2021 or earlier. <laughs> And by the way, the reason it says thank you for your feedback is because I clicked the little helpful button next to that review because I did find it extremely helpful. <laughs> Here's one I'm sure Brian Stelter's mom wrote. I devoured this entire book in one sitting. It's that good. And the corruption of the Fox News and the GOP is that bad. And I saw a lot of people joking on Twitter that he should hire me to do the audiobook because that way... Maybe people would actually listen to it, and it would at least be funny and entertaining. Well, your wish is my command, because I decided to do it for free. At least part of it. This is a real excerpt from his riveting and brilliant work. Less than an hour after Rupert Murdoch's Fox News projected that Joe Biden had defeated Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election, Murdoch decided to send Trump a message. You lost. Get over it. Should we say something Donald might see? The mogul wrote Carl Allen, his friend and hand-picked editor of the New York Post, midday on November 7th. The resulting editorial was titled, President Trump, your legacy is secure. Stop the stolen election rhetoric. Murdoch and his son Lachlan reviewed the draft in advance. Lachlan said it looked great. Murdoch agreed, but ever the newspaper man, he flagged a few typos before it went to press. All right, I'll spare you any more of that, but we should pray for a Christmas miracle for little Brian that he gets his job back at CNN or is hired by MSNBC or somebody in these difficult times. We need Brian Stelter back on television. We need somebody to laugh at. Something that's not a laughing matter, however, is my new book, The War on Conservatives, Order it in paperback from Amazon.com or click the link in the description below. These videos are often just like an appetizer. The full four-course meal is in the book. And it is so much deeper and so much more in-depth than I could possibly get into and articulate in these videos. And it contains a lot of sensitive information as well. So order a copy for yourself. Order a couple copies for your family and friends for Christmas somebody who you want to help wake up by heading on over to amazon.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.